in the morning session uh, we have uh, talked about recursive best for search this recursive best for search is actually the enhancement in best for search with some limitation to explore any node here we use recursive uh, function in the algorithm so that particular recursive function will uh, actually divide our big problem into a small problem and then first it will solve a small problem up to the big problem now in the recursive best for search we take a variable uh, which is called f value that f value is nothing but a backup value let's say if in a path if we are going and we are uh, go going to that particular path in a greedy manner greedy manner and we'll find out that we are not reaching the goal so for that uh, we use this f value this f value will limit us uh, so that we will not go further into the path where we done we didn't have the chance to get to the goal so uh, with the help of uh, the example we have uh, talked about it and uh, the example we have uh, seen in the uh, morning class and uh, after that we have gone into what do you mean by local search algorithm and what do you mean by optimization problem so the in the local search algorithm uh, we actually limit the number of frontier nodes or uh, we limit the uh, memory uh, size so that we can get the goal or we can get some solution of any problem with minimal memory so that was the philosophy uh, for local search algorithm in that we use little memory and uh, it is very much useful for those problem which has a large state space actually the large state space means we need more memory let's say we have some um, uh, np hard problem where the memory required is exponential so for those type of problem local search algorithm will be useful then we talked about the objective function for the optimization problem uh, for any optimization problem we are looking for objective function objective function means uh, what value we have to achieve we have to achieve the maximum value or the minimum value that we have to look for let's say if you are looking for a business so in the business we have to increase the cost and decrease the expenditure right then only we can have a good business model so the objective function is looking for increasing or maximizing some value let's say profit and this objective function is also looking for uh, minimizing the expenditure that is minimizing the cost so it depend upon the problem so in in that way we look for either uh, global maxima or global minima in our problems uh, in that we have seen what do you mean by global maxima and global minima global maxima or global minima is nothing but our ultimate solution for local search and the optimization problem to to understand the local search and optimization problem uh, we have talked about hill climbing algorithm in the in hill climbing algorithm we we look only we go uphill uphill means we'll go to the nodes which have which are giving us the good solutions or the good values uh, and uh, we just stop our uh, searching process once we get uh, some condition and what is the condition the condition is if we are getting the value which is not appropriate uh, for achieving the goal let's say the larger value or the smaller value if it is not suitable to reach our goal so we'll start the process at that particular node and that node will return as the goal node but there is a problem in the hill climbing algorithm because hill climbing algorithm is using local search it means it has only the neighbor information it doesn't have more information other than that second thing 
hill climbing algorithm is using greedy approach so whatever is coming immediate immediate immediately whatever uh, cost is coming whether it is a minimum cost or the maximum cost it is taking that in account and second thing we are not doing any backtracking means if we are going somewhere and we stuck at particular time or particular uh, node or at particular path so will not uh, return back so it doesn't have any facility to return back so that's why hill climbing algorithm is suffering with some problems that problem will be described by three uh, diagrams here first problem was local maxima means we are getting some values uphill and after that we are getting some values which are downhill so we'll not go to the downhill instead that uphill value maximum uphill value we take it as a uh, uh, we'll take it as a goal node and that will take it as a solution but actually that is not the actual solution that is the that is called local maxima means we are getting some values uh, we think that this is the goal value but this is not the goal value goal value is this one so <coughs> you can understand that hill climbing will not always give you the proper solution the second problem comes in the plateau or the flat maximum surface where we we reach to the peak value and after that we are finding some flat surfaces means some flat values the same sort of values so we cannot actually change our uh, state after that so we we think that we cannot change the state so let's take the first no first uh, uh, node as the goal node and uh, uh, that is the problem with the hill uh, climbing algorithm another problem comes in the uh, rich type of uh, values let's say the values are increasing so we are actually changing our state and once we reach to the peak and we are getting some flat surfaces so we find out that that there is no possible uh, solution we have so we'll we'll consider the peak value as the solution here we have in the same in the same uh, uh, level or in the same depth we have another solution which is giving you the larger value but we are not going to the point b why because it cannot change the direction it doesn't have any facility to backtrack so these are the three conditions um, by which the hill climbing algorithm is not giving you the proper answer or the global answer there is another uh, uh, searching algorithm which comes under the category of random walk in the random walk what will happen is uh, if we have started from the initial node we are going to get some uh, let's say three four children we'll put, pick, pick a random children and we'll go further in that particular direction so when we do a random walk so it might give you the uh, solution it might give you the solution so there is a chance of getting the solution but it will take a lot of time right so let's say if i want to search my friend's house and i have started from a particular point in bhuvaneshwar and i am just walking randomly to reach my friend's house so there is the chance that i'll get my friend's house but it will definitely it will take a lot of time because i am moving randomly now what happen when i am using the hill climbing if i am using the hill climbing i'll i'll go in a particular direction and uh, if i am getting some values which are i am thinking that it is a optimal value i'll go into that path and if i am thinking that if i'll go into that direction i'll not get the optimal value i'll go, no, not go into that particular direction and some uh, point of time i halt at particular uh, way and uh, in that particular way uh, because i cannot do backtracking so I, and i cannot go further because my let's say the cost is more so i think that that particular uh, place is my friend place so that is the hill climbing but here i am getting my friend's place always it means that hill climbing will give will give the solution but the solution is not actual solution or the solution is not the optimal solution it is some sort of solution which will uh, which is called local maxima locally in a local way it is a maximum value but globally it is not the maximum value to to merge these two thing 
uh, hill uh, hill climbing and the random walk there is a uh, another algorithm which is called simulated anilin has been discovered in this the drawback of the hill climbing will be reduced so here instead of uh, here let's say if we are in this this particular direction if we are reaching in the peak value and this peak value we are getting some flat values could we go into the flat value if we are using hill climbing definitely we cannot go into the flat values but in the simulated analyn we have another way to change the uh, change the uh, state from the next state to the current state that is that probability the probability is e to the power of delta e divided by t if this is giving you some probability of from 0 to 1 definitely will will change the change the uh, next node to the current node and will go further so it might give you the solution okay this might give you the solution so this is how this uh, simulated analyn work here how the random will be used like random will be used to choose the uh, next node from the current node successor if we have a current node and has the successor of the current node so one of the uh, one of the successor node will become the next node and will choose that node that node we do, do have to explore or not we don't have, don't have to explore right so it is all about that 